What's up guys? Uh, so in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you guys the wiring for hooking up a trailer to a 2014 Chevy Silverado. Now, I had some issues with this. Let me bring this closer to you guys. Okay, so now that I have this on the bench, I could better show you guys because I was looking online everywhere to figure out where does these wires go back inside this plug here because what happened was on my particular model when i uh picked up the truck everything was great but i never used the trailer uh plug yet because didn't have a trailer but uh this all these plugs were actually pulled out you know they all got dismounted from inside here and i wasn't sure out of all seven i wasn't sure where you know, each one went back into. So, you know, it left me really puzzled on how do I connect this the correct way using, you know, just like the color codes on each each light set. So what I've done is I've actually labeled every single color and, you know, what they go to. In the event someone has this issue in the future, and you're just not 100% sure like I wasn't on where the wires go. I learned that it's not universal across every model or every manufacturer. They do, different manufacturers run different colors, although they might run six or seven prongs. They run different colors and they also run different orientation of which, you know, the wires sit inside this receptacle here. So... Instead, I have to go out and, you know, you paying someone to do this for you. Let's uh, go over it. So you have the negative. So this is, it's a little hard to see the writing, but I just put neg. So the negative is the big white wire. Like it's, it's the, it's the, actually the, one of the most obvious ones. Let's see if I can pull this off here. Okay, so the negative is the big white wire. It's the thickest one next to the positive, and uh, that's your negative. And the positive, you know, that's easy. Pos positive is this big red one here. So, you know, they're exactly like diagonal from each other. So looking this way in the prong, the negative, the negative has the biggest plug area and then right across from it diagonally is the positive. Then, you know, what's important is your left and your right turn signal. So the right signal is this. It's like a brownish, a brownish, greenish uh, plug wire. Hold on. Let's show you guys that a little bit closer. It has double strips on it. And that's for your right signal. You know, that way you know where it goes back. And the next, next important one is your left signal. Your left signal is exactly diagonal across from that as well. So this is your right. This over here is your left. Your left signal, which is the only yellow wire. You can see down there, it's the only yellow one. And uh, that's your left signal, turn signal. Then you have your park lamp. Your park lamp wire, let's see if I get this off here. Because I'm about to wire this up. I already tested all the wires with, uh, I bought this little circuit tester right here. It's perfect, actually. This is all you need to really, you know, test out what's what. You could do it step by step. This makes it very simple. 
and uh, I'll go over that with you guys. This makes it very simple just to, you know, really test the circuitry. But right now we're going to do, I'm showing you guys how it's color coded on this particular 2014 High Country Silverado. So where were we? We were at the park light. So the park light. Can I get this off here without tearing it up? Probably not. Okay. So the park lamp is like a red it's like a reddish brown uh wire. That's for the park lamp. And then the center, it doesn't even matter what that's for, right? Because it's the only one left. It's the only one in the center. It's the easiest wire, actually, to figure out. But, uh, you know, that's that white stripe wire. White stripe wire there. Goes in the center. So let's hook this up. All right, so if you guys are going to... Uh, you know, pick up one of these. You can pick them up at any auto store for about anywhere from four to five bucks, maybe six bucks. I got this at AutoZone. It was five dollars. So how you test each each light is you take this alligator clip, and we already said that the the negative is the big white wire. So I stripped off I stripped off some of the big white wire. Take the alligator clip. Clip it right on the positive, uh, on the negative. Then, with someone in the car, you would just test out each of these. You test out each of these, so the car is off right now. So I'm not going to get anything. We go start the car for you guys. So now that the car is on, I did turn on the headlights. As you can see, the lights are on. So for the constant for the constant uh, lights that would show up on the trailer, let's test out to see which one will turn the light the light on. Okay. So, our brownish reddish wire. Our brownish reddish wire illuminated the light and as we said on this here, our brownish reddish wire is our park lamp. So, this is wired correctly. So now let's test out the signal. All right, so I turned on the hazard signal just so we have the left and we have the right signal. So once I connect it, <clears throat> we're supposed to have the right. It's supposed to be this one here. And the left diagonal from it is supposed to be the one yellow one. So then you should see this flickering once I touch both of those. All right, so we know that it's working properly, and we know that we got it the right wires at the right place in the receptacle. And so forth with the other wire as well. All right, guys, so I mean, that's really it. So what I'm gonna do now is just uh, get my connectors and uh, connect these all up. All right, we're gonna start by Stripping off just a little bit of all these wires here. 
grab yourself your wire strippers. soldering completed and all the shrink wrap around all the wires uh, this is the the plug piece now this is what the trailer will be plugging into for the lights on the trailer so you know now let's test it out make sure everything is good so we'll plug it in here it's the harness so I do have as you can see I have the uh, the lights on for the car and I also have the right turn signal active right now. So, right signal is supposed to be this first one. So this is our negative. So let's hook up our negative. Put our alligator clip right on the negative. So remember, our right signal is supposed to be the first, the first one, and we should be getting. Here we go. We're turning. So our parking lights, which would be the headlights on, would be this one here. And there we go. It's a constant. The left turn signal. If I put it there, nothing's going to happen because I don't have the left turn signal active right now. But this job was a success. It got wired properly. Now it's time to go get that trailer. All right, guys. So that concludes, you know, how to hook up the wiring for your trailer on your 2015. Tw actually, it works for 2014 to 2017 Silverado all models. This particular one was a Silverado High Country fully loaded but uh, you know now if you ever run into the situation that I had you got the diagram you know what wires go to what and you know how to test your wires to make sure everything is working properly before you go and pick up that trailer so now that I got everything working properly it's finally time to go and get myself a trailer because I've been doing a lot of work a lot of moving around some things and I was actually borrowing uh, my cousin's trailer a couple times and, you know, the borrowing thing back and forth, you don't always have it when you need it. And now I need one and he's not here right now for me to borrow it. So uh, it's finally time to go out, get my own trailer and uh, really start moving a lot more things. Guys, if you like this video, please smash that like button. 
subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet i'm gonna come you know fully loaded with a lot more material for you guys i'm gonna try to give you guys a lot of original content i mean i know there's a lot of content out there but i'm gonna work on constantly work on trying to give you guys you know something fresh something new and not do too much redundant stuff uh listen until next time guys peace and thanks